Hey guys and welcome back to Bee's Kitchen. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I am going to show you guys how to make this okra stew. Guys, this okra stew is packed with loads of meat and it's absolutely delicious. You can pair it with banku, kinky, gari, any side dish of your choice. Stay with me and let's get started. For this recipe, I am going to use the following ingredients. In this bowl, I have oxtail, I have wele, also known as cowhide, I have cow foot, I have some freshly chopped tomatoes, in this bowl I have my mutton, I have tripe, also known as shaki, and some smoked turkey. To make my stew, I have some garlic, ginger, scotch bonnet, and some shallots. I also have fermented fish, also known as momone. To steam my meat, I'll be using shallots garlic, onion, ginger, and some pepper. I also have crab, some okra, and finally palm oil. As always, all ingredients, including measurements, will be in the description box below. First things first, I'm going to bake the cow foot in the oven at 200 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. And the reason why I do this is because I want the meat on the cow foot to touch itself from the bone. And also, this will shorten the cooking time. We all know that cow foot takes a very long time to cook. Whilst the cow foot is baking in the oven, time to cook the rest of the meat. So into a pot I have added oxtail, mutton and shaki also known as tripe. I am now going to blend ingredients which I'll be using to cook the meat. I have scotch bonnet, onion, shallot, ginger and garlic. I'm going to add enough water to blend these ingredients until smooth. I am now going to add the blended mixture to my meat. Next, I'm going to add my seasonings. Feel free to season the meat using your preferred seasonings of choice. As I've added all my seasonings, I'm just mixing everything together. Next, I will cover and allow the meat to cook on low to medium heat until tender. Whilst the meat is cooking, I'm also going to cook the wele, also known as cowhide, separate. In a pot, I have added water and I've just seasoned the water with a little bit of salt. I'm now going to add the wele and I'll cook this until tender. to 20 minutes later i have removed the cow foot from the oven and i allowed it to cool down for five minutes as you can see the meat has pulled apart from the bone very nicely this is making it very easy to remove the meat from the bone i am now going to add the cow foot meat and also the smoked turkey to the rest of the meat which i have been cooking I'll mix everything together, I will cover and allow the meat to continue to cook until tender. At this point guys, if you need to add a little bit more water to your meat, feel free to do so but please try not to add too much water. I'm now going to prep my okra which I will be cooking separately and guys when it comes to cutting okras honestly there's no right or wrong way on the size and the shape of the okra if you like it round if you want to grate it if you want to blend it it's entirely up to you This is what mine looks like after I have finished cutting all my okra. I'm just going to put it in a bowl and next I will transfer it into my pot. 
have transferred the chopped okra to a pot and now I'm adding enough water to cook the okra. Next, I'll be boiling the okra on low to medium heat for about 8 to 10 minutes until the okra is nice and tender. 8 to 10 minutes later, the okra is ready. So I'm just going to set this aside for later use. I am now going to check on the meat to ensure that it is nice and tender before I add my crab. And to do this, I will be poking some of the meat using a fork. If the fork slides through, this will indicate that the meat is nice and tender. As you can see, it did. So I'm going to go ahead and add my crab. And next, I will cover and allow the crab to turn pink. Once the crab turns pink, I will turn off my cooker and set my meat aside for later use. And as you can see, the crab has turned pink. So I'm just going to turn off my cooker and I'll set the meat aside for later use. I'm now going to check on the willy to ensure that it is nice and tender and I'm using the same fork method and as you can see I've been able to pick it up so I'm just going to set my willy aside for later use. To get started on making the okra stew I am going to blend the ingredients which I'll be using for the stew. In a blender I have added scotch bonnet, garlic, shallot and I'm going to add my ginger. Next, I will add a little bit of water and I will blend this until smooth and I'll set this aside for later use. And time to get started on making the okra stew. So to my pot, I have just added palm oil and now I'm going to add momone, also known as fermented fish. I'm going to infuse my palm oil with momone before I even add my chopped onion. And the reason why I do this is because it's just going to take the okra stew to the next level. I purchased my momone from my local African supermarket. If you can't find it, you can certainly use any salted fish for this step. As the oil has infused beautifully i'm just going to add my chopped shallot and i'm going to fry this until fragrant i am now going to add the blended pepper mixture and i'll mix this together i'll simmer on low to medium heat for two to three minutes I'm now going to add my fresh diced tomatoes. You can certainly use blended tomatoes. Guys, please bear in mind that tomatoes does cut away the sliminess from okra. So if you want your okra stew to be very slimy, then please omit tomatoes from this recipe. I am now going to add some crayfish powder followed by my seasonings. Next, I'll mix everything together and allow this to simmer on low to medium heat for four to five minutes. And four to five minutes later, I am now going to add all the cooked meat and I'll mix together well.
don't forget to taste and adjust seasonings if needed i am now going to add in the cooked okra i'll mix everything together well next i will add the cooked wele and i'll mix everything together well too because the okra is already cooked i'm just going to allow the stew to simmer on low to medium heat for five minutes and the okra stew will be ready And guys, the okra stew is ready and it smells incredible. It smells amazing. I cannot wait to enjoy this. Oh my goodness, my mouth is literally salivating. I am certainly going to enjoy this with some bangkong. Of course, you can enjoy yours with any side dish of your choice. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like this video share this video comment below subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so and click that notification bell which will notify you whenever i post delicious recipes like this enjoy and i'll see you next time bye